let's look at black problems. You know, we cannot continue to sit here marching and saying black lives matter and then come home to our wives and start oppressing our own black women. See, I need me a real queen like you. I can already tell you ain't like all these other hoes out here. You seem like you wifey material for real. See, it's females like you that's ruining the black community today. Do you think that our Egyptian ancestors would approve of you denying my unsolicited advances? All you bitter black bitches are all the same. We ain't gonna never get free until y'all learn how to submit. Regardless of how polite, intelligent, independent, loyal, or successful we are, we will always, always, be blamed for the destruction of the black community. Or maybe it's because at any given moment, in America, approximately 64,000 of us are missing and no one seems to bat an eye. The most disrespected person in America is the black woman. The most unprotected one, a person in America is the black woman. The most neglected person in America is the black woman. And as Muslims, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us to respect our women and to protect our women. And then the only time a Muslim really gets real violent is when someone goes to molest his woman. We will kill you for our woman. I'm, I'm making it plain, yes. We will kill you for our woman. We believe that if the white man will do whatever is necessary to see that his woman gets respect and protection, then you and I will never be recognized as men until we stand up like men and place the same penalty over the head of anyone who puts his filthy hands out to put in the direction of our women. We are no longer okay with taking a backseat to your liberation, okay? Y'all got a good couple of centuries out of us just propelling you to the forefront, just fighting for you while, you know, effectively being okay with the erasure of us and our existence, but no more. You recognize my humanity, treat me with some goddamn respect, and then maybe, maybe, we can fight for our liberation. But until then, I'm fighting for my liberation and the liberation of every other black woman. It doesn't make you any more your opinion. It doesn't make you any whiter to try and join that side of discriminating black women. It doesn't make your oppression any less. Does it satisfy your pretty little ego to put down black women? Does it make you feel any less oppressed that Spanish girls do it better, that white girls are more classier than black girls? Does it make you feel any less oppressed to try and date a white woman because black girls are just too ratchet with a huge attitude for you? As I always say, there are scumbags, there is ratchet, there is unclassy in every race. Love you, black women.